All right, show one, show one. Call him like now, you how about some y'all shy? Excuse me, by Shem, you know, Shai, by Shem, Rakak, Wadash. Double on Studios and the Apostles and Great Millstone, who will will. All right, Sean wants 144,000. Uh, one third remnant men, women, and children of the whole for less. Sean wants, Sean wants. That's the brother Gabar, y'all's coming back at you in another quick lesson. Through the spirit and power, y'all, by Shem, y'all, Shai, prison, let's be at a fine scratch at a point. <laughs> All right. And I just watched the lesson, all right? The brother, uh, Shapal the 12, all right? And I also saw this in the community section, all right? Where <laughs> Esau is about to blame the ministry, man, all right? Because uh, the Israelite group, all right, who believe it was, was Y5, man, all right? Those guys, all right, watchmen for Israel, okay? They was out there doing that Pope Proud's Palestinian protest in Chicago, man. Okay? And there was an altercation that happened, all right? All right? You know, bottles were thrown, fights, okay? This is what's going to get the ministry blamed. This is what Esau can use now to have the ministry blamed, man. Okay? And I can't play the video because, uh, you know, the sound, you know, and, you know, but I will put it in the description box, all right? You can watch it, okay? But, and you see the caption up there. You know what it says? It says, Black Hebrew Israelites are physically battling pro, pro-Palestinian pro protests in Chicago. Yeah. And notice it says the Black Hebrew Israelites. I don't say Hebrew Israelites. They got to throw in that term black, the word black, which nobody is black, man, okay? We're not black Hebrew Israelites. We are the Hebrew Israelites, man. And this is what's going to get the ministry blamed. This is what Esau can use, okay, to say, see, see, those guys are out there causing altercations, yelling at people, cursing people. I want to fight people, man. This is what's going to get the ministry blamed, okay? So we are in some very... Very serious times, man. This is not a fucking game, man. Okay? We're not out there to do that. We're not even... Look, you are some guys are not even supposed to be at no damn pro-Palestinian protest, man. Okay? None of that. Okay? Let these people fight their own shit, man. Okay? We supposed to be out there preaching the gospel, man. Waking up the sheep. Okay? Waking up the elect. Okay? That's what we're supposed to be out there doing, man. Let's get some scriptures, man. Because <laughs> you see the times we in, man. Okay? These are the times we in, man. Let's read. Let's start off with this scripture here. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. I charge thee, therefore, before Yahweh and the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who judge, who shall who so judge the quick and the dead at his appearance, and his kingdom. Verse 2. Here's the point. Preach the word. No. Be at a protest. No. We supposed to be preaching the gospel man. Waking up the elect of Israel. And I believe that was a setup man. Alright. I'm going to be real honest with you. I believe that was a setup. Okay. Like I said. In 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. At least Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices man. We're not ignorant of Esau's devices. I believe this shit was set up. Okay, and Esau is using God, going to use guys just like this, all right? All right, although they do go out to the highways and byways, but nevertheless, man, what they're doing is they're going off. And a lot of these Israelite camps, man, and you're starting to see that they're being, look, that they set up by Esau, even the so-called white man, okay, to have the ministry blamed, okay? 2 Timothy 4 and verse 2. Preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. Reproving, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's what we're supposed to do, man. We're not supposed to be out there at a Palestinian, Israel protest. None of that shit, man. We're not supposed to be out there doing that. No. That's not what we're, not, we're out there to do. Okay? We're out there. To preach the gospel. To wake up the elect, man. Let's get this scripture. And Esau can use this now. 
Matthew 10, verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Okay? Wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, man. Like it says, like how Shai said, man, if this was his kingdom, then my servants would fight. This is not the Lord's kingdom, man. This is not the Lord's world yet. Okay? All right? We're not in the kingdom yet. To be, you know, and really you're not supposed to be out there doing that anyway, man. You're supposed to be out there preaching the gospel. Okay? Okay? Unbelievable, man. When I saw this, I was, man, I'm like, man, come on, dude. Really? Let's read this scripture. And I'm making this quick. I ain't going to make this too long, man. Okay? This is 2 uh, Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 3. Um, let's start up a little bit. Hold on. Uh, let me start at verse 1. Okay? 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 1. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of Yahweh in vain. Verse 2. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time except and in a day of salvation I have scored thee. Behold now is the accepted time. Behold now is the day of salvation. Our salvation is near, man. Okay? Verse 3. The point. Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. See? Okay? Alright? Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed, man. Okay? So, hey. We're not supposed to be out there. A part of no protest. Alright? Like those guys were. Throwing bottles and shit like that, man. No. We're supposed to be out there. Wise as serpents. Harmless as does. Preaching the gospel, man. That's what the Lord commanded us to do, man. And Esau can use this. But that's okay, though. This is a part of the movie, man. Alright? So, hey. <laughs> it is what it is, man. 1 Peter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant. For because your adversary, the devil, Esau, him, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Yeah. Be sober, be vigilant, man. Okay? Get this. Ephesians 5 and verse 16. See then that ye walk circumspectly, looking around your bow. Okay? Not being in some protest, man. Okay? And what them guys doing at a uh, pro Palestinian protest for anyway? Like I say, man, I believe that shit was a setup. I really do. Through the Spirit, I believe it was a setup. Okay? Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you are circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeem the time because the days are evil. We are in evil days, man. This devil's going to come down with great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time, man. I did a lesson uh, just today, man. All right, well, Esau, all right, the WHO, all right, talking about locking up the so-called seat theories, okay? Feeling if going to start gelling so-called seat theories, man. Okay, so this devil is about to come down with great rap, and he's going to use things just like this. You Israelites going to the gun range, okay, with your guns, or on, uh, just like them uh, agents and uh, them guys, uh, you know the guys are, holding the guns, was that uh, Hebrew, it's, was that, uh, what's that guy's name, with the Jake with the guns, okay, and then you had this other dude with, and of course, Everybody know who that guy is, man. All right. Showing his guns. All right. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And then talking about the guns and shit. Man. He's not going to use the shit. But that's okay, though, man. Because like it says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn, man. So we ain't worried about it, man. We know the agenda. We know he's all going to use this shit to try to set us up. All right. He gonna use these same Israelite camps to set the men of the Lord up, man. And he's doing that. And like I said, this shit was to set up. Okay? Let's continue. 
So we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. At least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. Okay? We're not ignorant of these devil's devices. We know what's going on. We know what the agenda. We know that, hey, these devils are about to come in like a flood. About to set up the men of the Lord. Okay? We know. We're in those times, man. The persecution is, hey, the persecution is on its way, man. It ain't on its way. It's here. Okay? Let's go to this last scripture. I'm going to get this one. So, hey, you Israelites, man, be careful. Right? And, hey, use wisdom. Be smart when we out there preaching, man. And, hey, you shouldn't be out there at no damn pro-Palestinian, pro-Israel protest, man. You don't supposed to be at no protest at all, man. Let these people fight their own shit. Who gives a fuck? We don't care about this place. Our job is to preach the gospel, man. Okay? Not to be out there at some protests. Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and the strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his and Mashiach, or the anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And these devils are about to plaster us on TV. Hey, it's all, it's all good, man. It is what it is. Yeah. We're going to be deemed as terrorists. Okay? So, hey. And plus, I just I was watching the video that the brother Alma won a bad dead, all right? With GMS Watchmen, with this Jake, all right? You know, scoffing at the Hebrews, like scoffing at the men of the Lord, man. So, hey, we're hated. We're about to be persecuted for righteousness sake. But that's okay, though. The glory how about Shia he got us. Okay? Verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you. Having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Okay? And like I said, man, Esau's gonna use this stuff. Use this right here. Okay? Let it load up. Okay? Esau's gonna use this, and you see what he's calling us. <laughs> and you see the caption Black Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> Which we're not black, by the way. We're Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay, but they hear Esau's about to use this man. Okay, to say, see, those guys are out there causing trouble, this and that. So we now we got to hurry up and get them off the street corners, man. But that's okay, though, man. It's all good because hey, prophecies is being fulfilled, man. Okay, so we ain't afraid of what these damn devils gonna do, man. Let them bring it, okay. Because at this point, I'm sick and tired of this world, man. All right? Tired of two-thirds of these wicked-ass Israelites, these heathens, these Edomites. Okay? We ready to rule. We ready to get the fuck up out of here, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right? We ready to get the fuck up out of here. So let this devil do what he got to do, man. Okay? So with that, I'm going to end the lesson here. I just want to do this little quick lesson in response to this, man. I pray this lesson was edifying. All praises and glorifications go see how about Shmi Al Shai, by Shimra Kakwadash, till next time, Shawn Wong, Kwam Yashwala, and Wild Baba Ball, Shawn Wong.